so how does it feel going up on stage and, and collecting this award for your achievements? I was completely overwhelmed. I never, I never even thought I'd win. I really didn't. It was just wonderful um, because I've just always so much enjoyed swimming. And my award, my pleasure really, just been watching the swimmers and seeing them progress, seeing them go to nationals and even higher. And tell me how you got involved with swimming and aquatics in the first place. Um, I have two daughters. Both started swimming at a quite an early age and I got involved with uh, my local club, Market Harbour Swimming Club. And I started um, on the door and then recording uh, and then team manager and so it went on. Never, never stopped. Uh, I used to write the reports for the local newspaper as well. And then I went, uh, my daughter joined City of Leicester Swimming Club and uh, just progressed from there, organising some very big meets. We did organise uh, City of Leicester Swimming Club some Grand Prix meets in the 1990s, which were fabulous. I just loved them. We had loads of swimmers coming from all over the world to those meets, and that was so rewarding. I just loved it. And after your daughters had progressed out of, kind of the, the swimming pathway, what was it about aquatics and, and volunteering in aquatics that made you want to continue? Just so satisfying. In fact, my, I say my daughter still swims. She's 44, but she still swims masters, and she's keener than ever, and very competitive, and she just loves it. And I, I like to see her swim even now. I'm going to watch her tomorrow. <laughs> And I know you've stepped down as a role as a volunteer yeah, at the club. I retired club. really a year ago because I'm um, getting on a bit now and I thought it's just time that youngsters took over and I hope they get as much enjoyment out of it as I have.